You know, all in all, culinary class was a lot of fun. I love that Nether's Kitchen bit. That was pretty well, cool. Well, it was kind of fun, but it was also really stressful with the timer and all that sort of stuff. But I guess in the end, yeah, it was pretty fun. It's just a shame that he got food poisoning at the end. It yeah, was did the... anybody else get, like, release forms? Like, he, he put it on TV. We're on oh. TVs? Yeah, it was I really? guess we were. I, I didn't sign anything. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we didn't sign anything. And anyway... Well, then again, we did put him in the hospital, so I guess it's sort of the least we could do to give him an episode, you know? Yeah, I guess I guess so. I mean... But to be fair... We we made such crap. We what? made such crap. No! Uh, my ants on mm. log was pretty neat. And I gave some god cheese over dirt fire? That's like the Barney, best meal I made! Barney, you didn't even cook the cheese. Like, you just kind of, like, charred the outside of it, and the inside was still, like, a brick of cheese. That's yeah, the magic. Yeah, yeah, Barney, the magic of I, I, I think cheese. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't think I would have eaten it either. It was weird. He, like, extended me a job or something. I was like, pfft, whatever. <laughs> Wait, you're, you're, you're not taking it, right? No, gosh, no. Okay, good. Because if you're to take job, then we can't hang out all day. Yeah, Wait, no, I, I, I like hanging out. You got out. an offer from a world-class chef who has several Michelin stars, and you said no? I I like I like being lazy. Yeah, but the thing is, you would have been able to eat, like, awesome food every day. Jen, but, if you accept the yeah. job, then you can't hang out all day. That's a no-brainer. That's okay. Exactly. More room for my equipment. It, oh, that's what you just want me to get oh. out of the house so you can put your computers in my room. No, I just think you should apply yourself and you know. You no, know, that's what you want to do. You. That's what you want to do. Anyway, uh, I hope he's doing well. I mean, he was kind of rude, but I, I sent him a get well basket full of mixed nuts. Wait, why Wait. nuts? Well, because he was a little bit nuts. You know what I mean? Wait, Russ. Russ, yeah. he's allergic to nuts. <laughs> eh, I'm sure he's fine. Anyway, what class do we have next? Anyway. Eh. <laughs> Oh, psychologies. Psychologies. Uh, psychology? Psychology. Wait, wait. Oh. One of those people once, they're all like, wow, you're always upset because you eat too much IHOP or something. something. It was upset tummy or upset? Uh, Ross, that's not a psychologist. That's a dietitian. Uh, are you sure? You know I'm what? Pretty I'm pretty sure. Psychology is your head, your brain, how it works and how you think, and all that sort of mumble jumbo. I'm so glad that we have these times to, like, sit down and talk with each other. I mean, I know that, like, we're, like, six minutes late now, but... Oh, what? 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 Oh, yeah, by the way, this time we've been talking, we've been, we, we, we got late. This is why we could have been on time. Oh, hey, guys, man. Why you just let us talk and talk and talk? Hey, man, I enjoy our time together. Sorry. Well, yeah, I enjoy too, but we can't be spending class time not being in class. <laughs> anyway, um, so do you know what classroom we're supposed to go to? Uh, I think it's this one right here, uh, SH-110. Does anyone know anything about the professor? Uh, nah. some, he's got some, like, weird name at the end, like Fred. Fred or I, I, I heard he's good with psychology, but, you know. Okay. All right. He's, uh, uh, looks like a bit of an introvert there. Hello there! I am Professor Freud, and this is Psych 101. Whoa, 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 wait. Freud as in the famous Sigmund Freud? the one. That Why is everybody who teaches us famous? Why are we always taught by a bunch of psychos? Isn't it the one? Psychology. And I am not psycho! Now listen here, what is your name? Ross. I already see you have some type of complex that we may explore. What, the IHOP complex? Wait, is it? Is it an IHOP complex? I've never heard of that. Is some that some kind of new? Excuse me, Sky. Is that your name? I gotta use the bathroom. Have a seat. Okay. There's no need to use that restroom and explore that complex. No. See here on the board. This is an iceberg. You mean like from the Titanic? Were you in the Titanic? Dude, he's definitely in the Titanic. I recognize no. that picture. No, no, no. I've seen this movie poster. Now listen here. The theory of consciousness is like an iceberg. At okay. the top, there is the conscious mind. And that is just the tip. 
Below. What about, what about below the lettuce? surface? Listen here, Ross. Okay. Okay. I'm below. Uh, he's got it. He does have a larger, unexplored subconscious. Now, uh, the why best is way. It, is conscious cold? Is that why iceberg? No, it's lettuce. He just said. No, no, guys, it's a lettuce. metaphor. Iceberg Meaning you can lettuce. only see the very tip of the consciousness, but there's a lot more to the mind that you can't see because it's below the surface. Already my favorite student, Jin. Now the best <laughs> way <laughs> Teacher's I can pet. help you all. Weenie. Teacher's listen, pet, Jin. Listen, listen, don't make fun of him. The best way I can help you all to understand the subconscious mind is to go inside of one. What? I have dedicated. Wait, wait, what? Yes, inside hey, Jen. of a volunteer subconscious. Jen, how can we never get a normal teacher? I don't That's know. This I school said. has weird funding, man. Hey, volunteer, please! Ross! What? I volunteer, no. Ross. I volunteer what? you. What? Uh, what am I this doing? This is great, Ross. Now I've dedicated my entire life, career, and social life into inventing a machine right over here in the back of the classroom. That uh -huh. will allow a human being to enter the inner conscious of another human being. Now, Ross, the volunteer. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jin, don't you have what one of those it? apps on your phone? Oh, yeah, I actually developed one like that last week. Pretty an cool. app? What's an app? Like like an iPhone app, you know? All you have to do is configure so that it scans brainwaves and then modifies it into a physical algorithm. So then that way you can actually transpose yourself into a mind. I mean... My it's life. good here though, but it, it, it's just a little rudimentary. That's all. It's we are still going to use my life's work now. Ross, have a seat now. I is it gonna hurt? No. Yeah. I, look uh, what he says, Ross, he's scary. I tickles. Ready to explore the inner conscious? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that tickles. Huh? Not really what I expected. Wow, Russ must really be afraid of water. This is literally knee-high. Ah, a classic case of aquaphobia. See, the mind reveals all of the subconscious secrets. Yeah, but that we already know that about Rod. Patience, boys. There are more secrets to unveil. I don't know, Professor. Ross can be a bit empty-headed. Does that sound flushing? Whoa! I think he's like gonna be sick. Not at all! <laughs> Professors, this is scary! Why is Ross's brain a drain pipe? Well, his mind always has been in the gutter. <laughs> yeah, this is so funny, Sky. That isn't funny at all! This is a septic system! Ah, really is close-minded for psychologists. Look, there's the exit. Down the rabbit hole we go! I thought you said it's septic system. Okay, all jokes aside, though, we're like in Ross goop right now. I'd I'd like to get out of here. Ah, uh, gross. Hey, uh, man, I'm just uh, I'm just thinking. Oh God, there's feathers everywhere. Refreshing. Oh, this refreshing? crazy guys. Yeah, you would. Anyway, so this is his. This is his like inner subconscious. What is this again? Yes, we just happened to stumble upon the right place. But we're stumbled upon. I thought that was the whole point of the machine to take us here. Yes. We are in the right part of the subconscious to explore all of Ross's complexes. I mean, look at all of these chickens. Yeah, it looks so like Ross. So many. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever asked yourself why? No. Uh, hey, Jin, look. There's like an IHOP here, too. <laughs> there's IHOPs here. Oh, <laughs> even further explains his con complex. IHOP. Yes, the chickens. It represents Ross's mother. Wait, His attachment Wait, to this is caused by feelings of neglect and extreme sorrow. Ah. I'm pretty sure he just likes chickens. Yeah, he has a pet chicken. I don't think it has anything to do with it. No, parents. no. Look at the IHOP sign. I-H-O-P. It's missing an E. Your friend is missing hope. It is supposed to spell I hope. No, I'm pretty a, sure it's just the International of House of huh? Pancakes. Yeah, it's it's literally International House of Pancakes. Jen's right. Uh, it, they're pretty good. We go there pretty often. And I guess Ross likes. They discontinued their Nilla pancakes, Jen. Oh, I know they were so good too. The no, discontinuation I... of those pancakes is more feelings of neglect. 
No, no, no. no, no. Can't no. you all see? In fact, we've been we've been going to Olive Garden more often lately. Anyway, oh, you're, you're, Olive you're Olive reading Garden. more into it than's actually there, Freud. He just likes food. I'm, oh, I'm we'll sure, find yeah. more. This guy's a bit of a negative Nancy, isn't he, Jen? Yeah, a little bit. How about we go deeper into the subconscious? I'll prove to you, Ross is just Ross. I mean, this entire place is basically just Ross, only a bit more colorful. Jen, yeah. you're a smart boy. You shall see. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna see that Ross is subconscious. It's just a normal subconscious. It's it's, just... it's literally just chickens and IHOP at every corner. This is I don't this think is, this Ross is any Ross. complex. I don't think Ross is even capable of having a complex. Oh come on, Jen, that's a little bit mean. Yeah, well, Ross can have complex. Ross has many like, complexes. Like what? Like Take chickens a look and IHOP. <laughs> it goes even deeper. Well, oh. yeah, let's find out once and for all, then, what's in Ross's head. Jen, hey, are hey, you sure guys. we should do this? This looks like a really big fall. Yeah, can we get stuck if we're going too far? Uh, only one way to find out, right? I've always wanted to learn more about Ross. Here we go! Oh, Jake, come on! Oh. Wait, what? Barney, wait. Barney, let's hold hands. All right, ready? Three, two, two one. One, oh. go! Oh, you didn't hold my hand! Oh, oh. oh. ow. Oh, oh my feet. Ooh. Guys, look, look, there's like little shrines for each of us. His attachment to what his friends heck? are very important to him. He's got my well, sunglasses yeah. and butter in here. What the heck? This is he, crazy. He's got my laptop and... Oh, the coding is all wrong, but uh, I can't believe oh, this. Looky here. A cow. Oh. More represents the neglect of the mother. No, no Freud. Cows the give milk. at our house. They provide nutrition. I'm... I'm... Wait, Jin, does that mean Ross is Cowman? I kind of doubt it. I don't know how they would know each other. Mm. Why he has Cowman suit here, though? Maybe he just idolizes Cowman. Yeah, maybe he really likes Cowman. Ross makes sense. so weird. Look at the... Ross the so weird. The cow is wearing a skirt. It obviously represents Freud, his Freud, mother. Freud, 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 you no. are such a Debbie Let Downer. Go, Debbie's let's, Downer. Let's just keep going. I want to find out more about Ross. I mean... Besides Jim, this is like the know. this is like the only time you'll ever admit that, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Thankfully, Ross is unconscious in a chair right now, so he can't hear me. Whoa, what the heck is this? Is that ah! is that Thunder Muffin? That He's that looks like Thunder, Thunder Muffin. Muffin. <laughs> is this like a shrine to Thunder Muffin? Wow, he Thunder Muffin gets a whole shrine. That's that's ah! I want a shrine like that. Oh I guess my! About Thunder Muffin more is this a library? But Ross doesn't read. That's. Weird. Ah. Oh my, his thirst for knowledge is real. Uh, no, it's it's not. In oh. fact, these books look like they haven't been touched in decades. This entire place is dusty and unused. Yeah. He wants more knowledge, you can tell. He wants to learn. You are looking into so many things that aren't there. Yeah, yeah, Freud, you're sort of bumming me out, man. I mean, are uh, these all quotes from Ross? His I like inner marbles. childhood. <laughs> <laughs> I can fit three fingers in my belly button. <laughs> yeah, these are all things that Ross has said. I, I swear he just pulls them out of this box whenever he needs one. <laughs> Ross's Milady. childhood is here, and it is pink because it is his, his mother's favorite. Stop being so negative. No, it's no, not. Stop talking about Ross's mother. Yeah, I don't think Ross's mother involved in any of this. What the Whoa. heck is this? Oh, this place is dark. I think we've reached the deepest part of the subconscious, guys. And there's IHOP here. Surprise. Yeah, of course. Whoops. Ooh, ooh, ooh. More missing E's. No, no, no. Look, Freud, his subconscious is just his subconscious, all right? This is Ross, and we know pretty much all this already. You're just projecting your own subconscious onto us. Listen, your... I am the Freud. Yeah, the and, 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 and you're He's deflecting. So you're deflecting all of your stuff onto us, and then, and then, dude, just try to be more optimistic, would there you? There are no issues with myself! Just be a bit more optimistic, man. It's just IHOPs and chickens. There's nothing more to it. You simply don't understand psychology. I just think that you're overanalyzing things. Overanalyzing? Overanalyzing? Uh-oh. If anything, I'm under-analyzing. This whole place is a demonstration of how our brains process information. Yeah, so just leave it at that. You don't need to analyze what's already been analyzed. Wait, analyze the analyzation. Jin, that's genius! If Ross's brain is a representation of Ross, 
then Ross must be a representation of his brain. Uh, Don't you see? Okay. He wonders where this is going. Anything. If that's true, burn everything! <laughs> well, that went from zero to 100. <laughs> Destroy the hope! Destroy! Time to leave? Yeah, it's time to leave. Hey guys, how'd it go? Turns out the professor was a total lunatic. Told you it's not a good idea to have a class taught by a bunch of psychos. Guess you're right all along, Ross. Hey, I'm kind of hungry. Do you guys want to get some food? Yeah, sure. Where do you guys want to go? How about Denny's? 